how's it going guys? I'm Dalton Lilly, and welcome to another episode of All Twang TV, the show that brings you the best in new and independent music from all styles of country. On today's episode, we feature two up and coming female vocalists. We have a video from Kentucky native Hannah Ellis with her song, Here Right Now, but we're gonna start things off by sending it out to our Nashville correspondent, Bailey Kirkpatrick, as she sits down with 17-year-old rising country pop artist, Molly Hunt. start by telling us your background. Where are you from and how did you end up in Nashville? Yes, I am from Detroit, Michigan, um, from the Mitten, and um, my family and I have got one brother um, and amazing parents, and um, so I grew up in the church and sang in church and um, wasn't actually allowed to listen to anything but secular music until I was eight. I discovered the world of CMT actually and fell in love with country music and my mother and I made a deal that I was allowed to watch music videos if they didn't have a bar scene in them. Um, but fell in love with country and so I decided at around 10 that this is what I want to do. Um, and so we did fairs and festivals and at one of the festivals there was a publisher from Nashville that was really, really interested and said, I'd love to bring you down to Nashville, see how you write. And so when I turned 12, she had me coming back and forth to Nashville for about a week at a time. And I fell in love with the writing process. And so my parents are absolutely unbelievable and said, you know, so you'll amazing. live once, let's pack up the moving truck um, when I was 14 and move to Nashville. So unreal. And right now you're 17, I'm right? I'm 17. And yes. so that was a record, wasn't it? Didn't you break a record? Because you're the youngest to get a publishing deal. Yes, the judge actually did say um, when we went to go sign the, the deal um, that I was the youngest. Um, I think Taylor Swift was 14. Um, and then I signed a publishing deal at 13, so it was just right absolutely there. crazy. It was amazing. And you're 17, and you already had so much success. Currently, you opened up for a heartthrob of country music. Indeed. All the girls are jealous. Oh my goodness. Who was he? And tell us about that experience. Yes, it was actually just last week. I opened up for Hunter Hayes, um, and that was mind-blowing because I'm definitely a fan myself mm -hmm. and um, the the team was just super super sweet Hunter was really sweet got to meet him on the bus um, and his fans were incredibly welcoming and it was so awesome. an unbelievable experience but it wasn't it was a sold-out crowd wasn't it huge it was I think that was the biggest crowd I've ever played for that's so. amazing well you got a lot of feedback one question I'm gonna ask you is just social media it's 2013 how yes. much has social media helped you. You had some amazing feedback. I actually wrote down a quote. Um, one person said, met Molly tonight, amazing singer, can't describe how good she was on Twitter. Oh my gosh. So how has Twitter and Facebook and all that kind of helped you? Yeah, well, this is definitely the age of social media and it's become such an important piece in being an artist. Um, and not only has it given new outlets of getting your music out there, it's a really great way to connect with fans in a more of a personal way because sometimes there's that mysterious element of being an artist but being on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook gives it that personal touch to where people can feel like they're really a part, not just of your music and listen to the music but a part of your life. Right. Um, so it's helped me in massive ways just to connect with other people and learn about who my fans are and get to know other people as they get to know me and also share what I do with them. Right. Well, that's great. You definitely do that. One other thing is you're a songwriter. How do you yes. do the songwriting process? You know, everyone has something different. Sometimes some people sit down, they'll write, you know, for maybe like two hours. Yes. Or they'll just wait till inspiration hits them. What's kind of your process? Well, I mean, I can start by saying there's no like formula that is the right formula. It just depends on who you are. But as an artist, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do um, 
genre-wise, so I like to bring in an idea myself. Um, so I'll record like a melody or if I have a lyrical idea, and I'll usually come in with an idea. Um, and if they love it, awesome. If we start from scratch, that's wonderful as well. A three-hour session is a golden session, but sometimes they're like birthing children, <laughs> and they're your song babies, and sometimes they take weeks and, and or months to write them. That has to be the perfect description I've ever heard. <laughs> a song baby. <laughs> a song baby. Yes. Well, you, ha you have very good song babies, as a matter oh. of fact. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, who are your musical influences? You mentioned that you were you know, right along the lines of Taylor Swift at the same age. So yeah. is she one of your influences, and who else is it? I definitely respect Taylor and what she's doing, and she's been able to connect with her fans in such an amazing way. Um, my personal influences, I fell in love with Rascal Flatts mm -hmm. first, but then I discovered Celine Dion is my jam for sure, um, and I love like Katy Perry and Bruno Mars and some of the new pop artists as well. You're just a melting pot Indeed. of everything, but that's the way Indeed. to be. You reach We've more people that way. Celine Dion, Bruno Mars. Right, and you were also on American Idol. Yes. Is that something you would do again? You know what? It was an amazing experience. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I would do it again. We've already had so much success just on your own, so. Yes, but absolutely got to meet some amazing people while I was there, and um, American Idol was amazing. Right. But So five to ten years from now, I mean, you're still going to be super young, but where do you see your career going? I would love to be traveling the world. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love, would love to be international with uh, my music. And so in five to ten years, doing some arena tours, and that would be, that would be the dream. I can definitely see that happening, for oh, sure. So you. anything upcoming you want to tell me about? Anything exciting happening? Yes, well, I've actually got another date with uh, Hunter on September 19th um, in Maryland, actually. Wow. I just released a single to iTunes called Blue, so you can check that out. And um, some really, really exciting meetings happening in New York and L.A., so. Oh, well, yes. awesome. Good for you. I'm Thank so you. excited. Thank you so Thank much you for so coming much, out. Thank you so much, Bailey. I look so forward to your success and everything you're going to bring to the table. I'm excited. I'm a fan. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Bailey. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter. And with that, we'll leave you with Hannah Ellis and her song, Here Right Now, on All Twain TV. Everywhere I look, people pushing.